Hey guys, it is Speed Screamer, and welcome to another video. And today, we're gonna do a little bit more uh, diecast review, like I did last week. Only I'm gonna do a couple more than I usually do, because well, just reviewing one diecast wouldn't be really entertaining, now would it? Now we're gonna start off with this little Monte Carlo in the middle. It's a 2005 model Monte Carlo, 2005 to I believe around 2010. Uh, it's it's just a basic Walgreens uh, sponsorship deal. It has a little Walgreens logo from back in the day. Uh, the pharmacy everyone trusts, because I read that earlier before I started this video. I can't read it right now. It says Walgreens on the hood, as you can see. Monte Carlo um, headlight design. Really just basic stuff. It just says Walgreens everywhere. It's got a nice little red and white uh, finish. I do like how it kind of blends in there at the back fender. That's really nothing, nothing new to this car. But moving on. We're going to start off with oldest to newest, which these two should be swapped around, that's my bad. So we're going to start off with this number one Coca-Cola Monte Carlo. This is a 1995 to 1999 Chevy Monte Carlo. Uh, this is actually Dale Jr.'s Bush ride, if I'm not mistaken, when he ran the Bush Cup, now Xfinity series. Um, you can see this is a 90s because it's got the little Coke polar bear there. It's pretty cool. This is Monte Carlo in the old school font. I kind of missed that. Oh, it's pretty cool. Got this nice little silver finish to it. You see around the bottom. Kind of looks, it's like a checker flag, and then it goes into ice, which is pretty cool. Got polar bears here and there. Number one, obviously. Uh, Coca Cola. You got all your little Burger King and all the other sp uh, contingency sponsors. It says Goodyear right there on the tires and the uh, uh, fender. <laughs> Of course, got another number, the number one. It says, if I can focus, come on. Yeah, close enough. Dale Earnhardt Jr. there. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was when they ran in Japan. I think this was a paint job he ran when they went to Sakuba back in the 90s. Coca Cola, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Coca Cola Racing Family, and the Chevy logo got two number ones there because they allowed that back then in the 90s simple times moving on we got a another number one car i'm trying to remember who this is hang on i can't check who it is right now but it's a zero one i would say steve park but i know it's not steve park because it's a richard childress racing uh product it's a army called the army kind of u.s army uh with paying respects to them i guess so it says, Army Call to Duty 230 years, which, I don't know what year this would have been. Obviously between 2000 and 2005, since it is a Monte Carlo, past 2002 because this has the new style of Monte Carlo front end. Of course, all your little contingency sponsors, Zero One. It's got this nice little tech camo all over the car. It's really, really nicely detailed. It's got a few scratches on it because this is an old, old, uh, thing that I used, or uh, die cast that he used to play with all the time. Uh, U.S. Army C Centrix, yeah, Centrix. And then on the back it has some sort of logo. I can't really read it. I don't know what it says. GoArmy.com. Of course, more scratches. Don't worry about that. It's a really nice die cast. I kind of like this little, this little like, kind of like black paint across the hood with where the hood flaps would be and the little air vent right there. It's pretty cool. Moving on to another one. It's a it's a oh I, I can't remember the dude's name. I I know I think it was Mark Martin if I'm not mistaken. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Mark Martin. This is a later Monte Carlo you can see because it's got the little more traditional light style. And it also says Monte Carlo SS in the front in the kind of newer font. Zero one again. Thanks, he's like the General Lee or something. Uh, got a little, nice little kind of like yellow flash off the side, like it's going real fast. Got a little star in here, US Army, GoArmy.com. Pretty much the same thing as the Camo Tech, except the Camo Tech is not there. And then the last one is, I know this guy, Martin Truex Jr. This was. Uh, I believe his rookie year in 2004 
No, this is a 2006 ride because it's got the SS lights on it. Uh, he's been sponsored by Bash Pro Shops all these years. Pretty cool. Tracker boats, Oreo, Snap On, all your typical contingency sponsors. This is also the day, day and age of Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, as you can see. More tracker boats, and this was. I'm gonna guess 2006 because he has the rookie stripes on here. Number one, like usual. He's got uh, kind of like a little homage to Dale Earnhardt Sr. It's his car's. It's, it's a black finish with a little silver and red detailing. Actually, let me go pull up a Dale Earnhardt car. Alright, so you can kind of see. I just grabbed a 1990 Illumina. A little silver on the uh, bottom there. It's pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got on here? We haven't got much more. Just another Bass Pro Shops logo. This guy really likes Bass Pro. And uh, this one's actually... Well, quite scuffed up actually. Good year, good year, good year, good year, good year. Lots of good years. This was the good years of NASCAR after all. <laughs> oh, and this was also when they called it the Sprint Cup. No, Nextel Cup, sorry. Nextel Cup after they replaced it with the, uh, or after they replaced the Winston Cup. That's pretty much everything that I have here for these number ones and the Walgreen Racer. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, comment, rate, subscribe, and like. If you guys have any specific requests as I try to focus this camera, any specific requests on what carries you want to see, uh, put them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.